game. Two hearts. Oh my god, wait. 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 I'm posting on TikTok. Hold on. Wait. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 I don't know what that was. Hello. Can you let me tweet first? Actually, why is it light mode? Um. Display. Lights out. Okay, thank you. Let me tweet, please, guys. Let me tweet. There's a fly. <laughs> guys, I promise I wasn't unprepared for stream. I just randomly got a crazy idea right before I went live. Telling crazy um, the story of the weirdest night out ever. Um, post. Um, twitch.tv for smidges. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Okay, hi. I can get you. You have my full attention now. Um, I'll do my fit check in a second. Um, hi, Parakeet. Hi, Bean. Hi, Mono. Hi, Otto. Hi, Mel. Hi, Cat. Hi, Els. Hi, James. Hi, Jay. Hi, Don. Hi, Beth. Thank you for the resub, Beth. Six months. OMG. OMG. Um, ma, 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 ma. Hi, Moon. Hi, Sev. Hi, Blue Streak. Yo. Yo. Bugs, bugs. Hi. Let me get Chatterino up. There we go. Okay. Hi. Hi. Fit check. Hi, Panda. Hatsune Miku fit today. I have the straps too. Woo! Woo! That's the fit. That's the fit. Okay. I have a spot. We're not going to talk about it. Oh, it's happened again. Can you people sit while I fix this?
Okay. Hello? I need to put the fan on after that. Where'd the pin go? Okay, I don't know. Okay, right. Finally, we can get on with the stream. Hey, chat. Hey. Hey, guys. What's up? I need a new one of these so bad. Okay. Um, are you ready to see what I've prepared? Are you ready? Because I'm so ready. This is, wait, chat, let's put you, actually, I'm going to put me here. I'm going to put me here. Chat, you're going to go, you're going to go here. Actually, I kind of want to see you. Hmm. Okay, actually, you can just stay there. I lied. Moving everything back. Okay. Hi, guys. This is crazy. Unfortunately, but have fun. That's okay. Hi, bye, panda. That was me saying hi and bye, not just me calling you bye. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to put a sticker over my spot because it's pissing me off. Looks kind of stupid, but it's fine. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's why I corrected myself. It, it was hi, comma, B-Y-E. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's get going with the craziest night out. No, the weirdest night out in Brighton ever. Now, listen, there is a reason why I called it the weirdest and not the craziest. Because in retrospect, it wasn't crazy, but it was definitely the weirdest. Weird is such a good word to use here, okay? I use that word very carefully. Okay. So. Let me move this over here, actually. So, here we have where it all began. Thank you, Jung, for the something. Stan, for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Thanks. Okay. Let me move you here. Right. This is where it all began. Yesterday, can you tell us your previous weirdest night out for comparison? I can't think of on on the spot. Hi, chat. Hi, smidge. Hi, bug meows. Hi. Okay, this is where it started. Yesterday, I streamed. No, it wasn't yesterday. It was the day before that. I Saturday night, I streamed from Crow's setup because I was there. I randomly showed up. I, did, I surprised Crow um, because I'm such a good friend because Crow was feeling a little bit down. So I showed up and was like, hey, I'm here now. It was supposed to be for one day, but I ended up staying two nights because I don't know, I'm just awesome. I could have moved in. Um, Owen doesn't know it yet. Anyways. um, And so we wanted to go out because we realized that every single time I go to visit, I... I were like, well, let's go, go, let's go, like, let's go clubbing, let's go, let's go out and everything. But to no avail. We have yet, up until now, gone clubbing together, which is so heartbreaking. I know. Oh, crowd, crowd, crowd size. Wait, by the way, sound effects here would be very good during this stream. If you want to use the sound effects, that would actually be really funny. Okay. Hi, Spade. Hi. Hi. Okay. Um, so, the only thing is, we, um, yeah, exactly, we, um, uh, let me, a day, go away, blood, okay, so the only reason I was even there is because Derpy played, paid for my train ticket, if you, little context clues, guys, a little, little, little bit of context, um, I'm broke right now. I have no money. Okay, Th this is needed for the context. I'm not asking for money. I'm not doing that. Okay, it's fine. So, 
Crow decides, hey, let's just ask chat like it's fine, okay? So you guys generously, Weejays and Anne, paid for our entrance fee to the club. So we were like, yes, we can go out, okay? I hadn't packed any clubbing clothes because I didn't think we were going to. And I was not about to go to a club in a Voltron t-shirt and jorts. So I raided Crow's clothes and found some stuff to wear. Um, I did have a skirt with me, so I wore a skirt and a shirt. You'll see. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Dale Mushroom. Okay. So, moving on. We got the money. We got our clothes. And we headed to the club. True. The people just wouldn't understand it. So, our journey begins at 12.33 a.m. I'm at the club. I'm in the line, okay? Can I just say, right before this, we're like walking down to the clubs, like there's like a bunch on the seafront, right? Um, and we walk past Prism because I'm, we're not insane. Why would we go there? Worst club ever. I don't care, uh, it's like a chain of clubs in the UK. I don't care where it is in, in the country, it is always bad, okay? It's like the biggest like straight club in the UK, I think, right? It's bad, cat. Like, yeah, it's bad. Okay, so real photos of Spencer Crazy Cat. Like, I know, never had before. I know. So, um, we're walking past, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with clubs and stuff. So I'll just like explain. Sorry if I sound patronizing. I'm just trying to make sure everyone understands. So while we're walking, we walk past Prism, and in most clubs, there's like a smoking area, right? Um. In most of the ones I've been to, especially in like Bournemouth, they have like a designated smoking area that like, that's like the roof or something. Like it's like an actual area, but in like busy places like cities or like um, in Brighton and also in London, um, they will just barricade a part of the, like the, I almost said sidewalk, the pavement off and be like, this is the smoking area. So walking past prism which by the way sounds like prison yeah haha walking past the smoking area of prism is so funny because it just looks like there's a like a hundred humans in a cage and it's actually so hilarious especially because it's like a um it's a straight club so i'm walking past and we're like it's i'm at the zoo like i am at the zoo and i'm seeing animals at the watering hole and it's like feeding season because you know like the guys like trying to chat up the girls like you know you take them to the smoking area and they smoke whatever uh, but they're like touching each other and it's like that's what prism is like i know that's I, but like it was so funny walking past i'm like no it's okay i've just started humans in a cage um yeah but like it was it's so funny because it like prism cage people in a cage it is a zoo like it, it's crazy and anytime that like like i've walked past and seen it's genuinely like observing animals in the wild like because that's what it is and that's what straight people are to me like i'm sorry i will observe you from a distance and think you're strange um but anyway so we walk past whatever we get to the place that we're going i think it's fair to say let me like quickly double check wait it's on the thing wait oh i'm pretty sure it's fine wait quick quick can i say what club we were at okay i'm not gonna say anything until i get confirmation okay so we're in the queue okay it's 12 33 a.m now, in the clubs, you can't really speak because there's loud music. Um, and also, I like talking about people and everyone's so close together, so you can't really talk about people. So what do I do? I use this amazing invention called the Notes app. This is how I communicate with my friends. You type on the Notes app and you like, And, and also, passing the phone to each other means you can have a conversation. So we were in the queue and this man's wearing a sash. And I said, why are you as a man wearing a sash? And Croat says, it's French. Then later by context clues and the fact that he had some random guys 
ra whoa, random woman's face all over him. It, it was like a stag do, which is, oh, that's why he was wearing a sash. Cause you know, stag do. You want to spend your stag do at, at a straight club in Brighton? I'm not judging you. I just didn't know that that was a thing. And also the fact that we passed so many hen nights on the way here. There was like three people wearing fake, um, would you call it veils in prism? Like the prism smoking area. So I was like, me okay, okay. Like sure, like sure. French, yikes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he was French, but Crow was like, that's a French thing. Anyway, um, also this is, this um account is closed because it's private, but maybe by the end of stream, if I get, mm, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll, open my private account so i decided to live tweet on my private account because that's what i love to do you know obviously not the whole time i'm not on my phone the whole time but i just needed to let you guys know that the night was already off to being a bit strange okay and also because since you guys paid for us to go i feel like you deserved some content anyway it's now 12 46 a.m my id gets double checked for some reason in london never checked never checked like not twice like it's obviously scanned and everything whatever this guy scans it checks it scratches he's like bending it he's like flipping it you know and the last time we went to a bar um over there i the person was like, um, first name, last name, middle name, your address, please, including the postcode. Like, I, I was giving a pop quiz on who I was because they didn't believe me. So, already I'm like, oh, it's, I see my MS, oh yeah, no, I, I said, can I use it as a profile picture? Aisha, I used it as a profile picture on my, on my, um, this is my private GGs, if that makes sense. I might open it by the end of stream. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Anyway. That's okay. I was just surprised. It's cute. Of course. So, this is basically where I'm at. I'm like, oh, it's a straight club. Do you know what? No, it's okay. Sometimes it can be fun. I've been to straight clubs before. It's fine. So, I'm like, up here. I'm up here. I'm up here. And then I'm like, and then I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's get hyped. Let's get hyped. This is going to be a fun night. I'm with my best friend, Crow. It's going to be sick. And then... ID gets double checked at the door. And I'm like. Okay. Okay. Mm, do you know what? No, it's fine. It's fine. Surely this can't get any worse. £12 entry. Thank you guys for the money because I seriously would have gone in overdraft if I just showed up. But hey, it is Brighton. What did I expect? This is fine. This is fine. 12.50 a.m. I've just got into the club, okay? First thing I do when I get into a club is I go to the toilet because, you know, we've been preying and now we're here. So like, okay, I'm going to the toilet, whatever. So I'm not in the dance floor area yet. But I'm, I'm in. Okay, that makes sense. I've paid my entry. Okay, I love these tweets. It was beautiful. You're so welcome. Then, what song do I hear as I walk in? So while in the toilet, Staying Alive was playing. And I'm like, okay, this is fun. Okay. Also, little anecdote, while walking past Prism, I was making fun of it by saying, and they always play Dancing Queen by ABBA, but it's always a remix and never the full version. Ha 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 ha. We're walking from the toilets up the stairs into the main dancing area. Now, can I just say, there's two great parts about going clubbing. It's the process of walking through the doors and then getting chips after. 
yes, that's kind of before and after. Is the middle bit even good? Yeah, it is. But those are my two favorite parts because I feel like I'm a in a velocity edit. I'm like in a I'm like a main character in a in a show. When I walk, th when I like hear the muffled no the muffled music, and I'm like, oh, what song is playing? And then I open the doors, and it's like, wow, there's people and smoke and lights, and you know, it's really cool, very atmospheric. Imagine my thought when I'm in the toilets. I can hear the music through the speakers because you know there's speakers in the toilets. Staying alive. I'm like, fine, whatever. We leave the toilets, we go through the doors, and I'm like, oh, what song's it gonna be? And it transitions to Dancing Queen. Staying alive to Dancing Queen. Like that one Hitman level? Exactly. So I was like, okay, maybe, yeah, this is a straight club, but it's, you know, I did, I did jinx it. I did say this would happen. I did say they would play Dancing Queen, the remix, you know, but then... I noticed something. The full song is playing. It's not a remix. We've gone from the full version of Staying Alive to the full version of Dancing Queen. Not a single hint of drum and bass or shitty remix to is it could be heard from a 50 mile radius. Holy moly. Holy moly indeed. And then I start to think no, there's something's up. Mm, no, maybe they're just. Maybe the DJ just likes older music. It's fine, whatever. We go to the bar, you know, while while we're waiting in line to order drinks. It gets worse. Actually, wait, I lied. It gets better. Oh my god, I forgot which order these tweets are in. It gets better. Seven quid for two Jaegers. Seven quid for two Jaeger bombs. You know I'm right, and you guys can all judge me if you want, but I do not care. I have never, ever been happier. Exactly. Okay? Seven quid for two Jaeger bombs. I'm like, maybe I am moving here. Okay? This is a steal. It's kind of average, maybe even above average. But, like, I'm actually like, whoa. I was expecting a tenner, maybe. Maybe more. Seven pounds? Sure. Like, incredible. So, I'm in the queue for the, um, for the drinks. I get my drinks. I get my drinks. And at this point, I'm thinking, I need to see who the hell is on the stage DJing. I need to see them with my own eyes. But we're right at the back where there's the bar, you know, there's loads of people in front of us, you know, whatever. We're gonna make our way over there. But my third song in this club is Come On Eileen. It's Vic Star 123, I wouldn't be surprised. So, 107, to recap, I got in at 10-2. I have been in this club for 17 whole minutes. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And this is the third song. But you know what? I'm like, I've just paid 12 pounds. I'm gonna make that 12 pounds worth it. I'm gonna make it worth it. Wait, this isn't right. Hold on. Pause, everyone pause, everyone pause, pause. Oh my god, did I not order these? No, I did. Hello? Oh, is that... That is the right order. Where is... Oh, oh, wait. Um, 118, 19... Oh, it is in the right order. I lied. I did it right. Okay? Never mind. Never doubt me. Ah! That was... Slideshow version. There we go. Okay. Ah, cancel. Hello? Here we go. Okay. Ah! Okay. Wait. Oh my god, I've broken it. Everyone pause. This is embarrassing. No, it's not. Slideshow presenter view. Oh, this is it. I found it. I fixed it. I'm so cool. Is this right? Yeah, it is. Okay. We need to go back. Don't look at this tweet. I've gone forward. 
Okay. Third song, Come On Eileen. Okay. But hey ho, I think, do you know what? It's fine. I'm swimming through the people. I'm swimming through the people. People keep leaving. Okay. And I need to, I need to explain. This part isn't on the tweets, but I need to explain to you. Okay. I'm thinking I've spent 12 pounds. I have to get my money's worth. It's fine. Whatever. Let's just go into the dance floor. Okay. We go to the dance floor where there's people and everything. I'm pushing, pu pushing past people. Okay. And who do I see? Abby Lee Miller. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, but. Before I thought that the players could get any worse, I hit, there's like, there's like a doom. I'm like, what? And suddenly, over the speakers, booming over the speakers, I hear. I'm not kidding. The final countdown played. Even worse. It goes to the chorus and there's smoke and confetti. And me and Crow were just standing there looking at each other. We went clubbing and we heard the Bee Gees Abba, the final countdown, come on Eileen. I'm like, do you know in Tom and Jerry where like a, it's like a it's like a prank that they play on each other where they'll like put a door up to go, oh, freeze something in here, like cheese in here or whatever, okay? And one of them goes through and then the other one takes away the fake door and it's like, oh, it's secretly like a pit of knives or something. I seriously felt like that. I thought I had walked into a club that I can't remember if I'm allowed to say or not. No, okay. Um, well, it's not like I'm not allowed to say, I don't know. Okay, wait. So I thought I'd walked into a club that was just like cool, straight club, fun night, whatever. And I'd like, and then like the door reveals itself and it's secretly a pop world. How did I accidentally set foot in a pop world? I don't, like I've actually, I was trans, I was teleported. Something happened at the moment that I set my foot through the door and I, <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, the final countdown. It's not the end of the night yet. You're not supposed to play this music yet. The end of the night, the lights are coming on. You play the final countdown, okay? Because it's the last song. It's 107, the night has just started and you're playing the final countdown with confetti cannons. Is this a year six disco? Is this a year six disco? I was confused. I was hurt and confused. I was mainly confused because so i'm sat there now and crow was like i wish i got a picture of you doing this because now i'm googling club nights in brighton like ha have i accidentally walked into a 90s night or 80s night by accident no they just play this music here apparently i was confused i don't understand i don't understand and since we're making our way through the crowd right these songs are playing just to have a little bit of fun because we were kind of fed up with the music choice although it was fun it was kind of like you know every other song should be old not all of them okay anyway i like to play this game called it's not called let's make fun of men okay it's not called let's make fun of men my favorite game to play in a club especially when you need to liven up the atmosphere a little bit get some jokes going have a little bit of fun I like to play this where one person has to like copy the dance moves of another man there. Guys, next time you're out or at a party, please do this. It's so funny. Um, and the other person has to guess who you're copying because men, are they born with no sense of rhythm or do they, I don't understand. They can't dance like at all, really. Um, maybe it's because they think they're gay if they can dance. I don't know, but this is how men dance. Let me get a, no, I was gonna say, let me get a song up. This is, this is why men dance. So this is how it would play. Okay, let me get a song up actually. Um Let me get a good one up. Uh 
Okay, this is like kind of a clubby, not really. This club song is playing. Okay. This is this is us playing the game, okay? I'm me, and then Crow is there, okay? So we're done, we, you know, you can't look bored, so you know, we're dancing. And then Crow would go, and I go, yeah, you got point, you won, okay? And we take turns doing that. Because why do men only dance like this? Or like this? Or they're like, or this is, a man will like act out the lyrics to a song. Um, apparently I do that too, but uh, it's different when I do it. Um, and also for some reason, they don't actually sing like the words that most people would. Like for example, say the song came on, do you remember the 21st night, September? Yeah, okay, that song comes on. Every normal person goes, do you remember? And then like dances or whatever. Most guys, they just sing like, I don't know if it's about not having any rhythm or whatever, but they sing like every other word or like the word that most people don't sing. It would be like, remember night. What are you doing? What are you doing? Like, I, it, it, it's like the weirdest assortment of lyrics ever. Or if they do sing the instrumental, like I could tell the ratio of girls to men in this club because boys, I should say, um, remember, exactly. Um, boys to men, I mean, g girls and boys in this club, right, okay? Um, is because when the final countdown did play, it wasn't it was and I was like okay anyway so we're making our way through this crowd we're playing this game whatever the final countdown is over with its confetti cannons and smoke machines and people are leaving and and we we make it to the front of the stage and I'm like, hell yeah, I'm at the front of the stage. And then I realize it's because chunks of people are leaving. So it's not just us that is like getting weirded out by the music choice, okay? We make it to the front of the stage. This is the DJ, you can't really see. Drunk Mean really thought this was a clear profile shot of a person and I could go, boys, get him. Uh, no, this is someone's oh, dad. Boy. This is someone's dad. So I said, whose dad is this? Whose dad is this? 1.17 a.m. Okay, it's 10 minutes past. 10 exact minutes have passed from this. By the way, I'm using timestamps from the photo themselves. So this is genuinely like, ow, this is crazy. 10 minutes after Come On Eileen, I find the culprit and it's this guy. Some dad. It's some dad playing a Spotify playlist. He's not DJing. What are you doing? Be honest. Okay. Guys, they've got the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack on, I swear. Because I seriously thought that they did. That just like should give some kind of context as to what other music they started playing after the final countdown and then Come On I Need and all that stuff. It was, someone said he's just got Spotify Premium. Exactly, and he searched up 80s mix or, so, or whatever. No, he just put the soundtrack on. That's what he did. Hi, Izzy. That's what happened. Okay. Um, this is a selfie of me and Crow, but I don't. But I, d I didn't double check the picture, so I cropped it. But this is my face. This is my reaction to that information. Just at one eighteen a.m., they've got the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack on. I swear, one nineteen. I'm. Yeah. I'm confused to say the very least, okay? Oh my God, wait, this is in the wrong place. This was at 1.14 a.m. Okay, Crow says, consider we have our own club on the beach. Hi, Crow. <laughs> I did a little presentation. Do you like it? I've got all of my materials in order. Okay, so. Um, Crow says, consider we have our own club on the beach. And I say, we have to stay for 12 kids. 
12 quids worth of time. I'm sorry, 12 quid. I was not gonna let chat's money go to waste, but also because it physically hurt me. So we just had to stay for a little bit, okay? We get um, photo booth pictures done. Very cute. See, this actually is not in the right order. This is at 104. Um, can you, hello, can we just, are my eyes really bloodshot? Should I be concerned about that? Maybe that's normal? Lol? It doesn't look good at all. It doesn't hurt. Um... Did you rub it too much? I don't think so. I have my little makeup on. <laughs> Guys, I'm not high, I promise. Um, just ignore it. Why is that... Give it 20 minutes, still. <laughs> Are you tired? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's just carry on. I don't want to concern anyone. I was just like... Why does it look like I'm like... Oh, that's scaring me. Okay, anyway. Um, carrying on. We decided to make it worth it a little bit by they had a photo booth, so I went into the photo booth. Cute pictures. Okay. Here. So this is us at the front of the stage. Here's the proof of the confetti, okay, that played, that showed up during the final countdown. I love that I was really documenting this because I knew, I knew... The even worse things, like weirder things were going to happen and I just had to document it. So here we go. This is me pointing at the confetti on the stage. Okay. This conversation, 1.23 a.m. Okay. Weird was just in the air. It was just in the air. Um, so they were playing the Don't Stop Believing song and I said it should be the Glee version, TBH. It's better. And then, oh, I know. I said it should be the Glee version, TBH. Crow said... It, it would be better. That's supposed to say it, it would be better. I say, at least this will make a funny story time stream. Tomorrow I'm going to be like, the worst club night story time like ever. Story time. And Crow says, I'm so sorry I brought us here. And I said, no, it's fucking hilarious. Because like, how? Um, And then I said, as long as we make our £12 worth it, it's like actually fine. I just need to get drunk. In brackets, one more drink will do me. It's fine. Crow says, I should have taken us to Coalition. Crow says, it's a hip-hop slash R&B club. And I say... When does it close? Okay, so now I'm sat here. I'm at the front of the stage. The DJ is in my... He's right there. He's two foot away from me. I'm in this club right in front of the DJ. And I'm Googling... Coalition, Brighton, opening times, closing times, distance from me. How can we get there now? What's going on? Like, I was ready to leave. I had made my decision then and there. 1.23 a.m. Guys, we were there for half an hour. Not even that. Yeah, wait, hang on. 10 to... We were... I paid for my thing at 12.50. 10 minutes. Yeah, 33 minutes, grand total. Grand total time, 33 minutes in this club. Let's just say that was 12 pounds worth it. Let's just say. Okay. So. Oh, <laughs> I'm just seeing the preview of the next slide, okay. As we're walking out, we've decided, right, it's run, it's one and done. We're, we're, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're like barging. We're not barging. We're like excusing us past people. We're moving, weaving in and out of people to get out of the, the crowd or whatever. And on our way, leaving, after we've decided, yeah, this club just like really isn't for us. Oh, I don't know. I'm like a little bit unsure, maybe. Whatever. I see this actual like 40 year old man. And I know he was a dad. Because he was wearing cut off shorts and a polo shirt. And he's taking a picture like this. Of like the lads or whatever. I see him as we're leaving. And I'm like, yeah, thank God we're leaving. Um, and I make a note to Crow to say that that person looked like Toby's dad. Because he kind of did. Um, but that could have just... I, I was drunk. Who knows? Um, anyways. So. We're leaving. This is where we're up to. We're leaving. 1.31am. I've left the club. 
and we're walking to the next one. I say, I'm so sorry, chat. We had to leave it. We had to leave. It had such a, it had such bad music, but we aren't giving up on a bad night. On to the next dot, 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 dot. Your money will not go to waste. And it will not go to waste. Because we moved on. The videos aren't. The videos aren't. I didn't put them in because I didn't have time to check if you were okay with me put using the videos. Um, also because I couldn't get them in. Like they wouldn't process. But anyways. So we move on to the next club. Okay. Incredible next club. Incredible next club. Now, I was told it's a K, it's a K-pop, it's a hip hop R&B. Yeah, R&B club. Really fun, really, really quirky, really cool, really, really awesome. Uh, um, we walk past. Oh my god, no! I was gonna edit that so you can. I'm gonna move chat. Chat, look at that. So we just chat watching Crowfang twerk on screen. No, the videos aren't in here, don't worry. This is the club in question. But, 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 when I tell you, when me and Crow show up to a place, we show up to a place. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we can turn any club in the, any deadest club into the most lively thing you've ever seen in your life. Okay. Because it's all about perspective. Crow turns to me and says, consider, we have a club to ourselves. Not the club is empty. And I go, I like your thinking. You're so right. And also the bouncer is like, it's free entry. So we go in, you become the club. Exactly. It's free entry, we go in. Okay. The other bar is actually packing up. But anyway, we go in. And I get um, a double vodka cranberry. No, they didn't have cranberry juice. Double vodka lemonade. And um, another Jaeger bomb. Which by the way, Guys, can I just, I need to mention, I need to share this growth with you. Um, when I first started going out and everything, I'd have a Jaeger bomb and I'd have to like forcibly almost try and stop myself from being sick. Like I would like, it was like a struggle and I thought they were gross, horrible. Um, the other night is when I realized and fully come to the terms with the fact that Jaeger bombs do not affect me anymore. And I'm scared at what that means for me. I down it and I'm like, okay. I must go, but have fun. Thank you, Crow. Love you. Like, I realize, oh, these don't phase me anymore. Now I'm confused and kind of concerned. Should I be? Let's not. Let's not deep it. Um, but anyways, so I have my Jaeger. I have my drink, whatever. We dance, we have fun. We have the entire floor to ourselves. We're like having a good time. Then I type something to show to Crow. I don't know if I've explained explained to you this thing that I do every time I drink. This thing that has to happen. But um, I say, now it's time for the smidge special. Try and fight off a chanda. Watch me. I think FB meant for for real. Um, and Crow looks at me like, and I say, I'm a pro, trust me. Spelt so incredibly completely wrong, but that's what that says. This is me fighting off being sick. You're a dick. Anyway, it works. It always works. It always works. So I don't be sick because I never am. Okay. Um, this next bit requires storytelling but i don't have the proof not proof 
I didn't want to edit the notes up and ruin the timing, so I'm gonna have to switch to this scene while I explain this to you. Okay, and just like ignore my my eye while I do this. Um, where is it? I have the notes, the the drunken note from me. Tuesday, five a.m. Saying this. Okay, so basically. There was this one, so while we were dancing in this club that had no people in it, this one guy comes past and we're like, mm, seeing he's trying it, you know, whatever. And we're like, moving away, whatever, you know. He comes over, he tries, we're like, no, no, no. And he leaves and he's like, okay, like it works. He's like, leaves. Second guy comes, tries a similar thing. And we're like, no, no, goodbye. He's like, okay. Um, third person comes, it's like, this one guy went into the club, was like, yes, there's two in here, and then brought the rest of his mates, and they all tried, like, one by one, apparently, I don't know. Then we see the three of them, like, together. They were from, like, a country that speaks Russian, Kyrgyzstan, I think, I don't remember really, I think it was that, or something. Um, and the way for him to explain where he li was, or something, he, he goes, he was like, I speak Russian, Russian, you know? Ukraine, Russia, ooh. And I was like, that is one way to explain your language? Um, okay. Um, and the only words he spoke in English was beautiful, which, like, thanks, man, but, like, leave us alone. Um, anyway. <clears throat> They, after some like weird Google Translate stuff and trying to get the message across, leave us alone. Um, uh, the second the second guy used Google Translate to call me beautiful and to call Crow handsome, and I was like, "Thanks, man. Goodbye." You know, um, I'm in LA, but I'm still glad I could catch a stream. Hi, hi. Anyway, so we're like two guys down out of the three that are over there. Also, while this is happening. I don't know if you know, at clubs, there's a usually a, um, like a, what do you call her? Jaeger bomb girl. She, like, has Jaeger bombs on her, like, the waitress dish thing. And they usually are, like, three for ten. Or, like, they do a deal, whatever. She was going around. Um, there's, like, a grand total of ten people here now. What? It's getting crazy. Um, she makes it round to us. And she's just been to the guys. And she stands to us. She's like, hey, do you know, you know, Jaegers? And then, you know. And then she's like, can I just like stay here for a bit? Because like, she was like really creeped out by this guy. And I was like, yeah, it's okay. And so we were just like talking to her being like, oh, you know, like, you okay? Like, you know, we were just like trying to get her to stay here as long as she could. Because like, I felt really bad that she had to like go talk to those guys or whatever. Anyway, she goes, whatever. Third guy, third and final guy of this like insane trio, this, this Russian trio. Okay. Um, and in like a Russian accent slash like, broken english ish we're trying to there's this guy this he comes over and we're we're not like rude you know so we're like having a conversation a bit but it's kind of i'm trying to steer the conversation over to go away please you know um and all three of them kept asking if me and crow were together and i'm like can you not just like pass on the message to your friends that we're friends or whatever um anyway so the third and final guy comes over and he's showing me something on his phone. He's like, look, look, look. And it's like a contact phone number. And so I thought he was asking for our phone numbers. And so we were like, no, 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 no. Like saying no in all possible different ways that we could. No, 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 no. Goodbye. Bye. Bye now. Bye. Um, and he was like, no, 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 no. This UK? This UK? And I was like, oh, oh, yeah. 4-4 four, four is, is UK. And he's like, okay, cool. And he walks away going on the phone. And I was like, I have no idea what just happened. I He just wanted to know if the phone number that he had got was British. And I was like, glad I could be of service? I don't know. I was like, um, okay. Anyway, that's the three Russian guys part of that story. Um, also, the guy was AFK DJing. He ended up just putting a mix on and then left. So, when we realized that he wasn't coming back, we decided, let's leave. So, we leave. This is us leaving. And for some reason, okay, for some reason, at this point, I've had a cider, um, a double vodka, blah, 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 what is it, lemonade, and two Jaeger bombs. 
so I'm not drunk drunk, but I'm like relatively drunk, okay? I'm walking home past men and stuff as they yell things, whatever. That's not the point. While we're walking, we walk past one of the many hotels that are on the seafront. And for some reason, me and Crow think to do this, th what we thought would be the funniest thing ever. Crow turns to me and is like, what if we like went inside? And I was like, oh my God, that's like the funniest thing ever. Like, yes, like, oh my gosh, like we need to go inside. Like, okay. So I turn to Crow and I say, wait, oh my God, okay. We're gonna pretend that we have a friend in the hotel and we're like waiting for him in the lobby. So let's go in and sit in the lobby. I'll like pretend to be on my phone and like we can like stage this bit. And so we're like, oh my God, this is gonna be so funny. Like this is the funniest thing ever. Like this is so funny. We're going in a hotel. We don't have a room. Like this is the funniest thing ever. Go. what is funny about that? I was like sitting here thinking, I'm like a mastermind thinking of the, this is the funniest bit I've ever done in my life. I'm sitting in a hotel that I don't have a hotel room for. Oh my God, okay. We walk in and we're like, okay, serious, serious. I, I go, yeah, just sit there, just sit there. And I go, yeah, I'm just texting him. Hey. Yeah, no, we're in the, um, we're in the foyer. Waiting for you. And then my favorite thing to do during like bits or improv is I love to try and make the other person laugh. So I go, yeah, so there's like um, the reception. There's like this big glass thing with shelves. Um, there's a sign that says, hello, Brighton. Um, oh, and there's also a hydration station. Now, you know when you're drunk and the words just sound hilarious? So we were both trying not to laugh. I was like... Anyway. I'm back on the phone. And I'm like, yeah. No, we're just waiting for you. Uh, what? No way. His Uber's not even here. Crow was like, who are you talking to? His Uber's not even here. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're just gonna wait outside. Bye. And then we both get up and go, oh, it's hot in here anyways. And we leave. What was the need? What was the need? What was the need? Like, why did we seriously think that we had just done like espionage? Like that was like, that was like the funniest thing on the planet earth. Like we had just pretended and infiltrated some like top secret. Like we'd broke into a bank. No, we sat in a hotel lobby that we didn't have a room for. And I was like, they didn't even, they were like, I was like, the receptionist had no idea. They had no idea we didn't even belong there. That's so funny. They didn't care. Now I can't show you this video because it shows you the hotel we were at, but um, I can play you the audio of us leaving the hotel. Hold on. Because why not? 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 At the end of the day. Because at the end of the day. Why not? Like, I think that really puts into perspective how drunk we were. And also, um, the fact that we both said, why not? At exactly the same time, right at the end, as we were leaving. That's Smith and Crow's peak comedy, apparently. Stay tuned to see what we get up to next. Anyway, we go home. I didn't even get chips, but it's okay. It's okay. We couldn't really afford to anyways. Uh, we stumble in home and go to sleep. And that, folks, was the weirdest night out ever. Obviously, I've had crazy nights out, you know, where weird stuff happens, you know, the Halloween Minion Man saga, you know, that was hilarious. But this was the weirdest. Weirdest by far. And I feel like... Oh, I feel like that's completely understandable. If anyone is curious as to what... Um, the Minion Man story is... Um, Smidge's favorite and funniest streams. Videos. It is this one. 
Copy link address? Partially blocked? Why? Copyright? By who? Oh. Literally by... Blocked in some territories. Partially blocked. Oh my god, wait. Oh, it's only in... Oh, wait. It's only blocked in Russia. Okay. Um... Not this. How do I share this... VOD? Is it this one? Yo! Oh my god. If you're curious what the, the Minion Man thing is, you can go watch that. Okay. That was the funniest slash weirdest slash oddest and my first night out with Crow in Brighton. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah also it shows how responsible we are because we left kind of early i'm still not over my eyeball guys i'm concerned should i be concerned no let's not let's not let's not deep it let's not deep it but yeah that was oh the weirdest night out ever seemed like a fun night it genuinely was and guys one in chat if i should open my private account where I usually live tweet. Stuff like that. One. 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 Two. None. One. Okay. I was kind of kind of going to do it anyways, but... Um, how do I do it? Is a good question. Uh, settings and privacy. Um, teams. Okay, no. Uh, uh, security and account access. No. Accessibility. Privacy. There we go. Okay, guys, it's open. It's open. It's open. It's open. It's open. There you go. It's open. Smidge up. I'm going to a Lovejoy concert on Wednesday. Oh my god, have fun also. But yeah, you can also scroll down the account and see all the other times I've live tweeted, which is funny. Um And I usually do like um I this is where I ramble about things that i don't want to put on my main account basically and this is where i ramble about things that i want where i want you guys to see it you know um like it's for like my core audience i'm scrolling through the account now like what the hell gay month rah like what what okay this account is, is cracking me up okay i'm gonna leave it open um until i forget to close it um actually open and then i will retweet on my main account okay i'll close it in a bit OMG, what? I don't know. Okay. Chat. 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 Hi. Hi, chat. Hi, chat. Do you know what this means? Would you hate me if I ended? I know we've only just hit the hour mark, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm concerned about my eyeball. 
then I want to make sure I'm not dying. I'm not dying. Guys, see? This is why I should end, or else I'm going to keep... I'm going to vocalize my thoughts about it, and then you're going to be like, oh my god, Smidge is dying. I'm not dying. But I would just like to know what is that? What is what is it is? Um, yeah. Um, I will be live soon. Can I do another wiki speedrun stream? I really enjoyed the last one. Can we do one tomorrow? Why am I asking you? I'm the streamer. What I mean is, do you guys want to do one tomorrow? Maybe? 8 p.m.? Perhaps? It was really fun. Also, it's kind of fun when you guys do it alongside with me if you want. Like, it's kind of fun. Um, okay. I'm going to raid Akko. Um, Twitter. Um, Discord. Join the Discord. We've got some fun ARG type gossip theory kind of stuff going on over there which is fun there's still much to be discovered about that and vods if you want to check out my previous crow smidge vods burger duo vods um take care bye thank you for the stream and yes bye 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 everyone i'm really sorry stream is so short i didn't really want to to be but yeah you get it you get it Bye-bye.